What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zer is back. We're at the reef this time and we're on week number 52. This is finally the full year of Zer. This is the last week of the year for Zer and next week is going to be year 2 of Zer. So here we are in the reef, he's in the corner and let's take a look at what he has. You walk among them. So here we go, here's Zer's inventory for the last week of year one let's start off with the titan we got the helm of saint 14 and this one has increased melee attack speed more super energy from non-guardian kills and ward of dawn blinds enemies who enter it really good helmet for pve one of the best titan exotics in the game right now i recommend buying it if you don't have it and also luke smith confirmed that this one is going to be getting an upgrade for year two or it's going to have a year two version of it so i'd recommend picking it up if you don't have it so you can get that exotic blueprint for it when the patch comes out next week and then for the hunter we have the kepri sting gauntlet this is a new one that came out in house of wolves for the hunter and this one has gain invisibility after crouching in place for a short time. Melee attacking an enemy from behind while invisible delivers four times the damage. And it also has increased reload speed with primary weapons and reduced melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb. So pretty solid uh, gauntlets. Um, the special perk on it isn't the greatest and it also has strength. But then again, reloading your primary faster is really good because that could be for any type of primary weapon and also strength might be a pretty decent stat roll or not stat roll a stat going into taking king because the night stalker actually has smoke for its melee so the strength is going to be pretty decent with uh, smoke grenades and then for the warlock we have the obsidian mine helmet this one has increased grenade throw distance increased super energy gained from killing minions of the darkness and nova bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next nova bomb so pretty good perk for pve when you're using void walker especially when there's a bunch of enemies like when there was a bunch of thrall in the first part of the crota's end raid that was a really good place uh, where this helmet shines because you get nova bomb after nova bomb and you can just clear out waves of enemies really quickly over and over so it's really good in those scenarios as well for the weapon of the week we have the patience and time sniper rifle with arc on it and this one has you gain active camouflage while aiming down the sight and radar stays active while aiming down this weapon sight as well so pretty solid sniper good stability good for crucible even as well as in PvE when you need arc burn or arc damage. Uh, so really solid sniper rifle. And again, I'd recommend picking up any of these if you're missing them. Uh, just in case there is a year two version of it. And you can get the exotic blueprint for it. Uh, going into the patch for next week. And then finally for the engram we have the exotic helmet engram. So if you're missing anything. I believe he hasn't sold the ram yet. So maybe if you still need that you can go gamble for it. Um... I'm not sure if he sold it. I, I believe he hasn't sold it. That's like the only new House of Wolves one that he hasn't sold yet. But anything else you're missing, you can go try Gamma for it with this Engram. And then I also recommend Heavy Ammo Synthesis for uh, going into year 2. Because Ammo Synthesis are really cheap with Zer. You get 5 for 1 Strange Coin. Uh, so really good to stock up on with Zer. So that's about it for this week. Zer on week 52, last week of year 1. Pretty excited for next week going into patch 2.0 as well as the Crucible preview of Rift and Mayhem on all the new Taken King maps. That's going to be really exciting and really fun to do next week as well as uh, the Gunsmith. We can try out all the, all the weapons for the Gunsmith and gain some reputation with him for the Arms Day packages. So that's going to be really fun for next week. And then after that, we're going to get Taking King on the following week. So pretty exciting stuff. We're getting really close, and we're pretty much there already. So thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Okay.